Now we begin our tour of art supplies. So in this video, we're gonna go over some pan pastels, which are chalk-based um, little palettes of color. Then we're gonna look at acrylic markers. We're gonna look at the large, big one, Neuland markers. We're gonna look at the more permanent markers, as well as the art brush marker, the refills, and the new twin one markers. We'll start with the compact chalk color pan pastels. On the back is a number of each color. You can open the compact and you can see that it's a powder mix of chalk. You can use any kind of paper towel or a little makeup applicator to apply the chalk pastel to your paper whenever you're using it for your visual facilitation. This is a great way to add color quickly to your page and fill large spaces and it comes in all different colors and I find that I like having a color for each of my favorite Neuland markers but they come in all kinds of pastels as well as darker rich colors and you can either stack them like these that I'm showing you here or you can leave them as little individual pan pastels but there are hundreds of colors you can choose from. Next, we're gonna look at the acrylic markers by Neuland. So they also make a wonderful collection of acrylic markers. And I'm gonna show you how these look on the page. So each of these large markers have a big fat tip and they hold acrylic paint. So this will be a very thick color. It's not like a marker and they take a little bit to open. So um, it's not like a marker, it's really thick and you kind of pump the marker to make sure that the paint is at the end so that it's nice and consistent. So I'm gonna quickly show you all the different colors that are my favorite colors and I'm gonna label them so that you have them for reference of if you decide to add some of these to your collection for your visual facilitation toolkit. Here's a look at all the colors that I have inside of my collection and we'll make sure that you have access to these in your PDF. Now for the art marker. This is the marker, my favorite go-to marker, and you're gonna figure out which one works best for you. So I'm gonna quickly on this page just draw a quick circle of all the favorite colors that I use. And again, I use more of a traditional rainbow collection. I do add, you'll see right here, a little bit of a light blue. I like to have a couple other different blues in my collection. And then um, the Ocean, that was the my favorite one. And then I have a couple of purples and light purples and then light brown and dark brown. And again, I'll make sure and add the numbers to each of these so that you have them so that you can refer to these as you build your collection. Next, we're gonna look at the big ones. These were designed by Neuland to really allow you to cover in a lot of space quickly. So this marker is a little bit fatter. It's got a nice wide tip. It's the exact same color palette as the other markers that I use. So they're really nice and interchangeable and they're easy for all of my work to look the same and have the same color and feel to the drawings. Now, I wanna tell you a little bit more about the difference between this one, the big one, and the art brush. So I'm gonna grab the yellow of the art brush and the yellow of the big one. Each marker has the flexibility of adjusting how you use the tip so that you get different widths and different feels for the marker. So I encourage you to play with them, have some fun. And now for the outliner. This marker comes in several different sizes as well. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about each of them, but first of all, I want you to see this refill bottle. And I do a whole video at the end of packing list on refills, but you're able to add ink to any of these markers. They're all refillable. So this is the outliner. This is the one that you see me drawing with online all the time. Then this is the rounded tip marker. And this one's one of my other favorite go-to because it's got a nice thicker consistency. And then this is the chisel. So it's a little bit more of a straight edge, but you can turn it on its side. And then this is the big one. Now the difference between the outliner marker and the other Neuland markers is this one is permanent. It has a quick drying polymer so that you can go right next to it almost immediately with another marker and it's not going to bleed. 
This marker is permanent, but is not alcohol-based, so it should not bleed. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about specific tools, and I go over a lot in the packing list, but the thing I want to emphasize real quick is tape. See, this tape is a masking tape that is more see-through. This tape is a little bit um, sturdier, and it's not as see-through. And the one on the left is called artist tape, and it's the tape that I recommend. It doesn't bleed, and it hangs your paper on the walls without ruining the walls. Masking tape is not strong enough to hold up your paper normally, and your paper will fall off the walls. So I'll add this to your list, but the one on the left is artist tape, and it's the one that I recommend. Now surfaces. There's so many surfaces you can draw on. From post-its to index cards to sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper to foam core to flip charts. I'll make sure to add a list of all my favorite suppliers so that you can access them whenever you're ready to add more surfaces and supplies to your toolkit. And finally, I want to show you the newest by Neuland. It's called the Twin One and it has an art brush tip and a chisel tip. This is so cool because it has more of like a soft art brush and then a firmer chisel so you can really have a lot of flexibility in how you draw as a visual facilitator. And then all of these are also refillable. So it makes it really easy for you to pack even less in your bag if you want to. And you could just take these plus a couple of the other permanent markers with you in your bag. So that is a little bit about the different color markers that you can add to your training bag. I encourage you to take pictures of your favorite tools and share them with all of us in the Facebook group.